Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how to put relative frequency distribution table using Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Relative frequency means percentage frequency. That means if you express all the frequencies of frequency distribution table in percentage, then you will get relative frequency distribution table. Let us see how to do this in Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So I have already taken one data set here. In fact, I have taken the data set which I had taken for my previous video that is on frequency distribution table. Under column A student name, student 1 up to student 50, 50 students I have taken and marks scored by each student in one particular subject out of 100 is taken in column B. So frequencies I have already generated here. How to generate these frequencies? Frequencies are generated using data analysis under data menu. This I have explained in my previous video. If you did not watch that video, please watch it first so that you can understand the concepts here, here clearly. So in order to watch that video, press the I button given above. So let us see how to generate relative frequency. So for class interval 0 to 10, frequency is 8. If I express this in terms of percentage, then I will get relative frequency. So what is the formula for relative frequency theoretically? Let us see that first. So relative frequency is given by relative frequency is equal to frequency divided by total frequency into 100. See for first class interval that is for 0 to 10 frequency is 8. Let us check what is the total of these frequencies? So in order to get total of these frequencies, select all these frequencies and under home menu, there is one auto sum option, auto sum, you click on this auto sum option, you will get total of all the frequencies here. So 50 is the total of all the frequencies. So in this formula, uh, frequency for first class interval is 8 that I have substituted here and total frequency is 50 that I have substituted here. So 8 divided by 50 into 100 that is equal to 16%. So let us see how to do this in MS Excel. So in order to get relative frequency here you need to put formula. So formula always starts with equal to sign equal to so here you have to select cell where the frequency is present that means for the class interval 0 to 10 frequency is 8 you have to click on this particular cell here so as soon as you click on this cell it will take cell name you can see f2 is displayed here f2 so f2 slash 50 total frequency is 50 so just type just type 50 f2 slash 50 so this is the formula so now if i press enter it will give the answer as 0 0.16 100 is still not multiplied for this so in order to do that you select this particular cell then uh, under home menu in the number field there is one percentage symbol, percentage style. You just click on that one. So this will multiply by 100 and also put percentage symbol. You can see 16%. Frequency 8 is expressed in percentage that is 16%. So 
सो दिस इज रिलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर फर्स्ट क्लास इंटरवल जीरो टू टेन सो टू गेट रिलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर ऑल अदर क्लास इंटरवल्स जस्ट ड्रैग दिस पर्टिक्युलर फॉर्म्यूला सो इफ यू ड्रैग दिस फॉर्म्यूला लाइक दिस यूल गेट रिलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर ऑल द क्लास इंटरवल्स सो वेर द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज मैक्सिमम हियर फ्रीक्वेंसी इज मैक्सिमम फॉर द क्लास इंटरवल सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी यू कैन सी एटीन परसेंट इट इज द मैक्सिमम रिलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर द क्लास इंटरवल सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी सो दिस मीन्स दैट एटीन परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स स्कोर द मार्क्स इन द रेंज सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी वेर इज द मिनिमम रिलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी मिनिमम रिलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी इज टू परसेंट इट इज फॉर क्लास इंटरवल नाइंटी टू हंड्रेड मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज ओनली टू परसेंट स्टूडेंट्स स्कोर मार्क्स इन द रेंज नाइंटी टू हंड्रेड सो इन दिस मैनर यू कैन ड्रॉ इन्फ्लुएंसेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज फ्रॉम रिलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल ओके सो इफ यू लैक द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस वीडियो please don't forget to share and like this video and to watch more videos like this you subscribe my channel daiva sankalpa thank you